Hey everyone, so I haven't really done a knife video for a while, I kind of slowed down in the videos. Uh, but I wanted to do something that, it's always just a fun thing to see a lot of my collection. Um, got a few out. Um, you know, it's I don't buy that many anymore. I, I think I've, I've honed in on the things that I like and don't like. And I wanted to show you today some of the knives that I do kind of rotate through. Um, everyone talks about EDC knives, which implies your everyday carry, and a lot of people will talk about having, you know, the one knife, you know, this is the only thing that EDC. Um, that's true for a lot of people. I've gone long stretches of using, carrying only one, one knife at a time, meaning Monday you carry the Sabenza, Tuesday you carry the Almar, um, as, as opposed to not uh, rotating, rather. Um, but I really find myself, you know, every couple weeks I, I rotate through different knives. And I think that's what makes it fun as a, a knife collector, right? I, I do use my knives. Uh, every knife that you see in front of you has been used already. That doesn't mean I go out and hammer on it. That doesn't mean I go out and, and wail on it and cup a, a ton of boxes, um, when I know an alternative tool may be a better fit or uh, using an older beater knife might be a better thing to do. So I got this new HD, this is the newest knife on the table here, HD7 Emerson done in 2014 and it's really nice. Uh, it's a, uh, I have another video on it, but it's the flat uh, plain edge rather than the serrated one. And this is a, I'm not, I've historically not been a huge Emerson fan, but I do love the HD knives. Kind of got the stone wash, shiny finish on back. Anyway, so I, I carried this, I've used it, um, open boxes, different things. But this was an expensive knife. I'm not going to go cut up tons of a huge pile of boxes when I know kind of an older or a, a different knife might be a, a wiser choice to do that with. So I try to take care of them. But I do, I do use them. So I've rotated through this a lot. It's it's lightweight and it's comfortable. It has a fairly deep pocket carry. Um, I love this kind of mid-size knife range, and you can tell it's somewhat of a theme in my collection. That I stick to this is my Strider uh, dual gunner grip SNG. It's one of the first knife videos I've uh, done. This is a beater. I'll, I'll open anything or cut open anything with this basically. Um, sharpened it multiple times. You can see it has a lot of scratches. It does have some use. It's pretty fluid with its opening still. I've had some of my own, I've done some of my own adjustments to it. Um, yeah, it's still, it's still holding up pretty good. This one, you know, I don't gravitate to it right away for pre precise cutting. Um, it's not, you can really put a lot of weight into it and um, pry a little bit with it if you needed to. But I don't use it for precision cutting because the front of this knife, about this portion here, along with a lot of the striders, they're always a little bit thicker up front. So it doesn't meet all jobs. And then uh, this Alamar one is. Um, it's pretty nice. It's newer. That's why I have it in front of you. So I'm still rotating through it. This is a the ZDP Steel 189 ZDP 189. It's just a stronger steel. Um, a lot of this uh, these types of knives come with the AUS8 steel, which you can go look all about that steel. Um, nice brown color. It, this is a fun knife. It's uh, easy to carry. It, it is lightweight. That was one of the whole reasons I bought it. Skeletonized handle. It's got a lot of things going on here. Brick bright shiny blade, very long blade, lock back, which is not my favorite, but it is what it is. It's not really a quick opening. It's it's a high quality knife. This is good. It's pretty durable, of course, because of the ZDP steel. Um, the nature of this blade with the uh, small point. It, you have to be real delicate with it if you're gonna open a you know a seal from a bottle or something. You want to be careful because these smaller point knives that are you can slip off the um, the surface and uh, jam yourself in the hand. So 
these are not suited for every job. You just have to be careful when these, with these thinner pointed blade as you should with any blade. And really what I, I enjoy in one of my oldest videos, you really can't beat a Benchmade 940 series knife. This is a nice one, a special edition carbon fiber, um, nice steel knife, S90B steel. This thing's great, and not just this particular one. You can get a regular one, and it is very nice. Tons of videos out there about it. But as far as comfort in your hand, durability, and, and the price point, it's not the cheapest of knives, but uh, it's not nearly the most expensive either. So it's it, this is a very good utility EDC knife that I rotate this one a lot. Um, as far as Sabenza, most people who have been around the knife videos for a while, they know all about the Sabenza. This one is highly used. Um, it needs to be cleaned up. Got a lot of box tape on it. Honestly, I open a lot of boxes and tear down a lot of boxes. That's what my main use with knives are. Um, opening different packages. So, this one's great. I bought this used and, I, and it was pretty in great condition when I got it. I have used it a lot. It's easy to carry. It's deep pocket carry. What I found is that you just need to be careful if you have this in your pocket, using a pocket clip, uh, and you're doing other chores. So I know it sounds really boring and mundane, but if you're doing chores and you're doing the dishes and you're leaning against the kitchen counter while you're doing the dishes or whatever you're doing, taking out the trash and you lean against the counter, the pocket clip rubs against the counter and scrapes a little bit. So something to think about, just maybe put it in your pocket if you're inside your own home. But this is great. I mean, I don't mind uh, taking a, a beating on this one knife, this knife too much. Because it, it will take it. It just like the scuffs add a little bit of flair to it, <laughs> character. But um, again, I have used this knife very heavily. And there's no wobble. There's no misalignment. I've never had to do a single adjustment to it. It's, it's just perfect quality wise and it, it cuts great you know it's it's a good um it's more practical in my opinion for everyday life for, than a strider i got on a big um kick of loving the dual gunner grips because they, they seem to be i like the fact that they weren't entirely smooth and i thought the lego ones were just too blocky looking and i like that these were a bit more thin but at the same time, the the rigid G10, it's not that comfortable. <laughs> it's not that comfortable to, to, to use and hold in your hand. You put a lot of power down on the uh, handle, it can dig in a little bit. So, the smooth titanium and micarta of the Sabenza, it's, it's pretty good. And then on, the, on this, you can see that I have uh, just the standard micarta Sabenza, the small one little brother brother the, to this one um, it's great I also got this one used good quality very nice this one I just I carry when uh, I don't want to have a lot of I guess weight in my pocket just it's smaller it's easy to use it's the smallest knife on the screen here on the table rather and then everyone loves the I wouldn't I shouldn't say everyone but Certainly very popular, but the, the Strider Paramilitary, also heavily used. And this one, because it's the full flat grind blade, uh, it's very sharp. It, it cuts very nicely through boxes. Um, it's just really nice to use. I would say that it's not necessarily the most interesting looking knife on the table. It is comfortable. Um, this is the S90V carbon fiber version. You can see different uh, style of carbon fiber, design at least. But this is a great knife. It's it's a little, you know, a little utility-like. Very uh, like an industrial design almost, if, that, if anyone understands what I mean by that. And But that's the way a lot of the Striders are. And the last one on the table here is this Microtech one. And I have another video on it. 
And it's probably, uh, let's see here, probably the least practical knife on the table. When I say practical, this means uh, compared to everyday life use. And your use case could be entirely different than me, right? But, you know, kind of knowledge worker, that kind of thing where I'm not working with my hands every day. This is probably one of the coolest designed knives on the table. Interesting design. This It's definitely like a military combat style uh, knife. It's an aggressive knife. That's how I would characterize it. It's got the unique, it's all flat, non-serrated blade, but then it has the tanto, tanto point. You choose which, how you want to say it. It is sharp. It's hard to sharpen because you have the multiple angles to sharpen. It looks really cool. I love the pretend swedge up top. It's not really a swedge. It's not sharpened at all. But it has a very strong point because of the tanto style and the blade design. The grip is G10. It's very comfortable to hold. Uh, you got the Microtech screws that are proprietary that are not... That's not ideal. The back frame here with steel, whatever it is, could be titanium. Uh, it makes it heavier. The lock bar, it's pretty good. It's a, This is a high quality one, no wobble, very nice. My only downside or my negative view of this knife is that it's not comfortable to open. It has a thumb stud that it's a little harsh on your thumb and I have, I have used it, I have carried it a lot. It's, in my opinion, very harsh to open. It's not comfortable. Without any kind of gravity assistance, it's it's just not comfortable to open. You can call me a big baby, I guess, but I'm just comparing it to these other knives on the table, right? But as far as niche orientation with the knife, um, just fun to have in your collection. Um, it's pretty nice. I like it. So just, just to talk through some of the knives, if you want to hear anything more, you know, about items in my collection, let me know. I like I started doing knife videos back in 2009. So let me know what you think. Leave some comments. If you want to see anything else, opinions on something, let me know.